Good afternoon and welcome to Pierce Field where the Arlington Spy Ponders are taking on the Reading Rockets and boys varsity soccer. Starting teams today for Reading Memorial High School. Number 19, Thomas Alardi. Number 18, Gavin Burke. Number three, Conlin Clark. Number 12, Patrick Dane. Double zero playing uh, keeper, David Demergian. Number eight, Charlie Decker. Number 22, Evan Doherty. Number 24, Ryan Driscoll. Number 13, Connor Duffy. Number nine, Sam Faulkner. Uh, number one, if he is in goal. Number 14, if he is on the field, is Alex Katsufis. Number four is Craig Kelly. Number 11 is Kevin Krupa. He's a senior and he's one of the two captains. Number 21, Adam Lelesher. Number two, Sam Mathewson. Number 23, Henry, Mc Henry Menzi. Number 16, Liam Merlin. Number six, Chris Millett. Number 25, Alec Plano. Number 10, the other senior co-captain, Nathan Plano. Number 20, Matt Rainville. Number 99, Tom Sampson. Number 17, Stas Sokolov. Number seven, Jake Sullivan. Number five, Brian Tannian. And number 15, Matt Weber. The Rockets are coached by head coach Dan McGrath in his 12 year there. And the assistant coach is G.P. Cormio. And your Arlington Varsity Spy Ponder roster includes senior co-captain Mustafa Ayad, number four, number 23, Adrian Black, his brother, number 20, Dominic Black, number 14, Griffin Blosh, number 10, Dylan Braveman, number 13, Lloyd Cleary, number 19, William Clifford, Number one, Andreas Cuiar. Number 18, Wyatt Dupont. Number 16, Emmett Foster. Number 88, Henry Fox Jerkowitz. Number seven, Sheldon Freudenreich, who I believe is still injured. Hopefully he will be back soon. Number three, Clint Garahan. Number 25, Tiago Gomes. Number five, Jeremiah Jacob Dolan. Number six, Miles Lehman. Number 22, Roman McGuire. Number 24, Max McCursey. Number two, Peter Mitri. Number nine, Yachikit Patak. Number 15, Elan Sands Grant. Number 21, Charles Sanders. Number eight, other senior co-captain, Phineas Santello, who unfortunately is home with a cold today. Number 11, Francesco Valagusa, his older brother, senior co-captain, Number 17, Tommaso Valagusa. In goal, number double zero, Ben Wasco. And the backup keeper at this point, number zero one, Nicholas Nikitas. Nicholas is also injured, so the backup uh, keeper is actually Henry Fox Jerkowitz. Welcome. the. Um, Arlington Spy Ponders are coached by head coach Lance Yanzio. Assistant coaches are Simon Genet and Adam Long. You are watching ACMI Sports. This is a production of ACMI Sports. This should be a strong battle between the two teams. Last year, Reading had the better of it. They won uh, both matches between these two teams. Arlington is hoping to bounce back this year. Arlington suffered a tough loss last Thursday, a 1-0 loss to rival Belmont. Prior to that, Arlington had three wins. Meanwhile, Reading has had a mixed start to the year. They were defeated 1-0 by Burlington on September 8th. On September 11th, they beat Wakefield 2-0. And then 
They also beat Watertown 1-0. People of interest certainly to watch on the Reading side, number 10 there in the middle is Nate Plano. I understand through the soccer networks that he has already committed to an Ivy League school. I've heard rumors that it is both Columbia or Brown and that he will be playing soccer there. He has been, I believe, on varsity for four years and should be known to the Arlington team. Starting for Arlington at center striker is Francesco Valagusa, number 11. His brother, Tommaso Valagusa, number 17 on the left. Dylan Braveman is playing right in uh, place of Phineas Santello. In the middle, number one, Andreas Cuillar. Number four, Mustafa Ayad. And number 13, Lloyd Cleary. Uh, my mistake. That's not Dylan Braveman playing right. It's actually Miles Lehman, number six. Back line for Arlington. Miles Lehman takes off, looks to cross the ball. Uh, Gets the ball into Francesco Valagusa, who puts one high over the goal. Good penetration by Arlington. Unable to get a shot off. Back line for Arlington. On the left is Clint Garahan, number three. Next to him will be Adrian Black, number 23. In the middle as well, Max McCursey, number 24. And on right, Peter Mitri, number two. Ball kicked out by Redding. Miles Lehman looks to throw. Gets it in to Francesco Valagusa. Francesco's already got two goals this year. Right now, Arlington has five players with two goals. Time for the lead in goal scoring. One is right there, Miles Lehman, who just crossed the ball. Miles gets it in to Andreas Cuillar. Andreas, good foot skills. He was not with Arlington last year, but he's back with the team. He crosses the ball. It gets in, but is quickly cleared. Clint Garahan knocks it out of bounds. Redding looks for a quick transition. Big throw there. Off the hand of Nate Plano for Redding. I think he was looking back directly into the sun. That would be the angle the sun is coming from. Max McCursey sends it forward. Gets it up nicely to Francesco. Francesco to his brother Tommaso. Tommaso looks to hit his brother again. Mustafa Ayad with the ball. Actually, it looked like he pulled off a nutmeg, something the players always love to do when they pass the ball between the legs of an opponent. Lloyd Cleary with the ball. Bouncing too much for him to be able to control, but Lloyd gets back on it quickly. Redding, however, controls in the midfield. Looks for the long ball. Clint Garahan, good speed, is on it. And decides to kick it out of bounds. Redding looks to move the ball into the box. Arlington looks to contain. They pass it along the side. Good strong cross. But ben Wasco was ready for it, pulls it in. As many of our watchers know, Ben has a powerful uh, punt, as you saw right there. And for the first time in anyone's memory, was a keeper who scored a goal uh, for Arlington on a punt. That was against Wakefield. Uh, Lloyd Cleary gets a cross off. Not able to get it to Francesco Valagusa.
Peter Mitri clears the ball out of bounds. It's a beautiful day for soccer here in Arlington. Temperature is in the low 80s. Partly sunny. Not much wind. A little bit blowing from left to right. So it will be to Reading's advantage for this first half. Kersey on the kick. Miles Lehman just misses the header. Redding keeps it in. Strong tackle by Peter Mitri. Redding looks to go over the top. Max McCursey was ready for it. This is not the tallest of Arlington teams. Max McCursey represents the greatest amount of height at 6'3". Although keeper Ben Wasco probably rivals him. Strong throw in, bobbled in front. Redding able to get a shot off, but wide of the net. Another goal kick for Max McCursey. This one's low. Strong bouncer and keeper Ben Wasco pulls it in after Redding sends it deep. Big punt headed towards the sideline and unfortunately out of bounds. Lloyd Cleary with a poke tackle there. Andreas Cuiar to the ball. Miles Lehman with a challenge. Mitri controls, passes it forward to Miles Lehman. Redding looks to get it out of bounds. Miles continues to challenge, and Miles earns a throw in. Arlington does not have Phineas Santello today, who is known for his longer throw ins. Arlington will probably look to contain more than take chances launching the ball into the box. Lloyd stepped forward there. Francesca Valgus is not able to get there before the Reading keeper. Solid punt by Redding. Max McCursey sends it the other way. To this observer, the game has been relatively low energy to this point in time. I think the first team that picks up the energy will benefit. Perhaps this is a moment for Arlington. Good cross, strong. Ah, oh, Francesco Valagusa, who's a very good header, not able to get squarely on that ball. Good cross by Miles, good effort by, uh, sorry, that was Tommaso Valagusa. Hopefully by the end of the season, this announcer will not still be confusing the Valagusa brothers. Or the set of fraternal twins that's on the team. Dominic and Adrian Black. Arlington controls. Mustafa Ayas switches direction. Not able to hit Lloyd Cleary. Brandon gets the ball back. Looks to play a long ball. And Ben Wasco is there. Some good boxing out from Adrian and Max McCursey. A couple of guys who also play for the Arlington basketball team. Nice back pass. Knew where he was going with that, Francesco. Lloyd pokes it forward. That's a 
Very clear handball by Kevin Krupa. Mustafa Ayad will try and curl this one. Looking possibly for a charging Max McCursey, number 24, coming up from his defensive position to add his height to this effort. That one's just a little bit too strong, but Miles Lehman able to get a foot on it. Allington ought to control this. Oh, not quite clearly. But Miles Lehman comes back to help out. Gets it going forward. It's a foot race now, and looks like Miles is going to win it. And again, get a cross off. Arlington is having some success bringing the ball up the right side and pressuring the left back of Reading. Coming into the game now, for Andreas Cuiar is number 20, Dom Black. He's going to be playing left wing. And Damaso Valagusa has moved into the middle, playing one of the three center midfield positions employed by Arlington. The center midfielders are a talented bunch. And they move fluidly throughout the middle. Strong throw by Clint Garahan. Just over the head of Francesco Valagusa. Clinton looks to step up. Apparently, this is the strategy of Reading. They're going to look for balls over the top, try and get it to their talented, as you can see. Footwork expert, number 10, Nate Plano. Nice save by Ben Wasco. Nate Plano has spent a lot of time in the ODP. That stands for Olympic Development Program. Interestingly, from my understanding, the Olympic Development Program is not directly connected with the Olympics, but it is known for developing foot skills among players. Nice passing in the middle there between captains Francesco and, sorry, Tommaso and Mustafa. Mustafa with the ball, looking to get a through ball. And just rolls out of bound for a goal kick. A couple of subs coming on for Redding. Number two. At right forward. Max McCursey with the ball. Looking to clear it. That one probably going to go out of bounds. No, saved by Miles Lehman. Redding looks to take it the other way. Strong step by Peter Mitri. Mustafa Ayad looks to control in the middle. Passes back to Adrian Black. Adrian over to Lloyd Cleary. Lloyd to Clint Garahan. Looks to use his strong foot and get it out. Nice touch by Tommaso Valagusa, but Redding now controls. Don Black has it, gets it over to Lloyd Cleary, Lloyd to Clint Garahan. Lloyd touches it to his left, looks to get it forward to Francesco. Bouncing ball here. Arlington to the middle. A strong ball there from Tommaso Valagusa to Miles Lehman. Miles Lehman on the corner, challenged by Kevin Krupa. Touches it back to Lloyd Cleary. Lloyd Cleary looks to chip it forward to Francesco. Francesco wants to turn, is not able to. And Redding plays it safe and sends it to the bushes outside of the stadium. Miles Lehman again with the ball, looking to cross. Cuts it back, gets it on his left foot. Nice left foot chip. Lloyd Cleary again, sacrificing his body for the team.
Lloyd Cleary's number 13. And if we were ever able to get a second camera, I would recommend that we just had one camera on Lloyd. We could call it the Lloyd cam. He's constantly in motion. According to the players, Lloyd was the fastest uh, person on the team in tryouts in running the two mile um, conditioning drill and was a good couple of hundred yards in front of the next closest person. Nate Planner with the ball. Looks to use his foot skills to try and get around Max McCursey. Gets a shot off, but out of bounds. Off the foot of an Arlington player. Corner kick has been awarded. Arlington heads it out of bounds. It will be a throw in for Reading. Reading number 11, Kevin Krupa. Looking for a big throw in, it seems, indeed. And it's flicked on by a Reading player, but harmlessly out of bounds. Clint Garahan with the ball, up to Dom Black. Dom looks to get it nicely to Mustafa. Clint Garahan running forward, not able to get to it. And unfortunately out of bounds. <laughs> 17 minutes into the first half, still no score. Each team has had a couple of opportunities. Nobody is yet connected. In the game now, number 10, Dylan Braveman, at striker, has replaced Francesco Valagusa. Dylan had to miss the first three games because of an injury. I am sure that he's hungry to come back and contribute to the scoring. Foul on number four, Mustafa Ion. It will be a free kick. And about midfield for Reading. Long ball in. Max McCursey looks to send it out and does well. Clint Garahan clears it, looking for uh, Dylan Braveman. Does not get him. Miles Lehman on the ball now. Fancy footwork up in the air there by Miles. Uh, Lloyd Cleary always looking forward. Tried to get that one up to Dylan Braveman. And again, a foul called. And that shot by captain for Reading, Nate Plano, wide, high, and out of bounds. Max McCursey sends the ball to midfield. Don Black flicks it forward. So does Mustafa Ayad. Dylan Braveman has the ball now, looking to make a move. Does get the ball out to Mustafa, and Redding, apparently when pressed, is quite comfortable sending the ball out of bounds. And 
It's Dafa Ayad, returns to the field. Don Black looking for a throw in. Seems like he's got Dylan Braveman in his sights. No, he's looking for Francesco, uh, Tommaso Velagusa. Redding looks to turn it. Does. Gets it forward. Controls in the midfield. Peter Mitri sees that one coming. Is able to step to it. Miles Lehman with the ball. Gets over Lloyd Cleary. Lloyd Cleary to Don Black. Back to Clint Garahan. He controls. Not able to get under it. Chip shot that the Arlington keeper, Ben Wasco, has no trouble bringing down. And gets it out quickly to Max McCursey. Max brings it up to Miles Lehman and cuts for it. Arlington were looking to work a give and go there off the back line. Some creative soccer, always good to see. Dylan Braveman challenges in the middle, gets the ball back. Stays with it, gets pushed over. Oddly, no call. Did look like he was shoved from behind, but it's a long way away. And that ball will be off a Reading player. Throw in for Arlington. Peter Mitri has it. Lloyd Clary challenges in the middle, as does Tommaso. Tommaso looks for a quick kick to Miles. Some smart slacker there. Reading controls now going the other way. Looks to get one up the line. Max McCursey stays on it. Trying to shield it all the way out of the end line, and he does. Strong boxing out skills there from Max McCursey. P. Dimitri looking for Andreas Cuiar, not able to get it to him. Reading controls in midfield. Now in the game, number 25, Tiago Gomes came in for Dom Black, number 20. That handball is not called. And that ball's out of bounds. Tiago Gomes, nice job. Getting to the ball, Don Braveman comes back and helps. Tommaso Valagus in the middle with the ball now. Looks the long ball to Miles Lehman. Longtime teammates, good friends. Work well together. Ball cleared there. By Redding, Max McCursey controls it, gets it to Miles. Miles Lehman, number six, gets it number, to number one, Andreas Cuiar, looking for Dylan Braveman. 
Back again to Miles Lehman. He controls it, keeps it in bounds. Looking to cross it. Lloyd Cleary, he'll have a shot here. Oh, he looks for Dylan Braveman. Dylan tries to turn it. And Redding throws it out. Sorry, kicks it out. Lloyd Cleary taking a break. Number four, Mustafa Ayad coming in. Miles Lehman looking to make a move down the side. Stopped by Redding. They'll have a throw. Tiago Gomes comes back for the ball. Gets it to Tommaso Valgusa in the middle. Tommaso up to Andreas Cuiar. Andreas unfortunately misses Tiago Gomes. Adrian Black comes over nicely, touches the ball forward. Push in the back. Andreas Cuiar, look over to Maso, he gets up to Dylan. Dylan looks for Miles Lehman, number six. Miles chipping it up, looking to get it to Andreas Cuiar, balls in the front. It's touched in beautifully by Andreas Cuiar. Terrific goal. Great teamwork. Miles, Dylan, Andreas. Goal scored by number one, Andreas Cuiar. I believe it was off of an assist from Dylan Braveman. Solid play there by Arlington. With 12 minutes and 45 seconds now left in the first half. Arlington now up 1-0 on a goal by Andreas Cuiar. Don Black looking to repel a suddenly energized Reddington team. sure that senior striker number 10, Dylan Braveman, still looking for his first goal, but must be awfully happy to have gotten his first assist now. This is a nice foot block there. Big throw in. Number 10, Nate Plano. Poor Redding, looking a little bit frustrated. There he is on the ball. Turns it back, crosses the field. In the game now, number 16, Emmett Foster. Playing at the right winger position. Emmett's a good athlete, played football for the town for the high school last year, and is back playing soccer 
Adrian Black here looks to control. And a corner kick is awarded there to Redding. Dylan Braveman, approximately six feet, six foot one, comes back to help. Jonathan looks to match up. Redding still has four back, so they're not sending a lot of people into the box. And indeed, Dylan's head works there, sends the ball out. Arlington has it in the middle. Peter Mitri, good solid contact. That's a Peter Mitri staple. He has great balance. And he regularly makes solid contact when looking to clear the ball. Can do it with either foot. Number 11, Francesco Valagusa back in at striker. Dylan Braveman gets a rest. Andreas Cuiar pushes the ball forward. Redding sends it to their playmaker, number 10. Francesco Valagusa looks to challenge in the middle. Tommaso Valagusa with the ball out to Tiago Gomes. Tiago touches it back to the middle. Arlington not able to hang on to control there. Francesco Valagusa putting pressure on the back line of Redding. And Emmett Foster fights for it. Midfield loses it. Nice overlap run there by Redding. Max McCursey looks to challenge. And a corner kick is awarded to Redding. Looked like junior defender Max McCursey thought that that had gone out. Corner kick here for Redding. Again, only putting five people in the box. Arlington has nine. The numbers ought to be in their favor. They get the ball up to Francesco Velagusa, who tries to pass it forward to himself. Manages to do so. Now looks for help. Unfortunately, misses Mustafa Ayad. Ball on the ground there. Mustafa's never one afraid of contact. He'll have a number of fouls called on him. Almost never gets a card. I think the refs see that in his efforts, they're not dirty. It's just an attempt to get the ball. Now he has the ball. And again, great slide tackle there by Mustafa. Continues to challenge. Peter Mitri with the ball. Uses his balance to get it going forward. But it will be a throw in for Redding. Six and a half minutes left in the first half. Savella Gusa sends a big ball up and out of bounds. I believe he's trying to angle it towards his brother and just put a little too much into that kick. Big throw in there. By Redding. Bicycle kick. Always fun to see. By Tomasa Velagusa. That's not his first of the year. Ball landed out of bounds but was a thrill for the crowd. 
Langton looks to contain. Redding moving well with the ball here. This could be trouble. Cross is made. And it did look like keeper Ben Wasco was ready for it. Other team were able to get a goal here before the half. It would have a strong impact on the momentum. Max McCursey to take the goal kick. Emmett Foster there went low on number, I believe it was 19 of uh, Redding. It was a dramatic fall. Fortunately, he looks fine. And that kick for Redding goes out of bounds. Griffin Blosh, number 14, coming in for Emmett Foster at right wing. Max McCursey gets the ball out. Arlington looks to control. Mustafa Ion challenges. Redding maintains control, however. Peter Mitri on the ball. Gets a left foot into it. Andreas Cuiar now looks to control it. Griffin Blosh with the ball. Touches it to Mustafa Ion. Mustafa up to Tommaso Valagusa. Tommaso not able to get it through. Redding. And it looks like they've got good numbers for Redding. And a long shot is taken by Nate Plano. That goal scored from approximately the 25-yard line. Keeper Ben Wasco not able to get to the low bouncing ball in the lower right corner. Score now 1-1 with three minutes left in the first half. Lehman, number six, back in. He's at left wing. Gets the ball going forward. Felt he was being held there. sure what the call was there. Miles Lehman did not like that he felt he was being held. He gesticulated to the ref. Don't know if a card was awarded, but he did leave the field. Back in the game, number 25, Tiago Gomes. Offsides called. Another offsides call against Redding. Under two minutes left in the first half. Oh, 
long as it waits for the ball to come in. Smells of Belagusa. Back to use his strong foot. Does send a big ball forward. Looking for his brother, Francesco. Francesco has the ball. Griffin Blosh looks to challenge. Ball out of bounds. Wellington looks for a big throw in. Andreas Criar is cutting. Griffin Blosh hits Andreas. Back to Griffin. He crosses it. And that will be out of bounds. Goal kick for Reading. Bounds. Throw in for Arlington. And that's halftime. With the score 1 1. Arlington Spy Ponders and Reading Rockets tied. And as we begin the second half here in Arlington, Arlington has the ball, looking to get the go-ahead goal. 1-1 here against Redding. Mustafa Ayad gets up to Dylan Braveman. Fights in the middle there with, uh, is unfortunately called for knocking down Nate Plano, number 10, from Redding. Number 11, the other Reading captain sends a long ball in. Arlington looks to contain. When Garahan gets the ball forward. Francesco Balagusa challenges. Nice back heel there by Dylan Braveman looking to continue the give and go with Francesco. And Reading powers it out of bounds. Francesco looks to control it, and again, Redding taps it out. <laughs> Francesco's in, I believe they're at left wing. Dylan Braveman in the middle. Boy, Cleary. With the have up and over the top. Lloyd Cleary, a lot of solid skills. Great at passing, controlling the ball, receiving it, moving to open space. Incredible tackler. One thing his game could be working on would be his shooting. Peter Mitri looks to get it out. Miles Lehman, who was sent off earlier, unclear if he received a card or not, certainly none was raised, um, is back in the game, number six. In the middle, Tommaso Valagusa challenges. Redding looks to move forward, Lloyd Cleary. Staunchly repels, again Lloyd stopping an attack. See it right there again. Miles to Tommaso, Tommaso to Francesco, Francesco back to Lloyd. Lloyd controls, finds Mustafa. Mustafa just misses Dylan Brave. Mustafa's 
Kristoff is very competitive. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. Miles Lehman has the ball, touches it forward. Give and go with Dylan Braven. Dylan finds Francesco, who has a go a little bit too high. Goal kick out to midfield. Lloyd Cleary gets ahead on it. Massa Valagusa up to Miles Lehman. Miles looking for Dylan Braven. Dylan could challenge here. And this will go out of bounds. Peter Mitri has a throw in. Gets it up. Nice touch to Miles Lehman. Miles dribbles. Redding takes control. Passing along their back line. Looking for an angle of attack. Well anticipated there by Mustafa Aya to Lloyd Cleary. Oh, ball's touched forward to Francesco by Dylan Braveman. Francesco not able to get there before the keeper. Good anticipation by the Reading keeper. The wind has picked up, it seems, a little bit here in Arlington. Reading looks for a through ball, and Clint Garahan uses his speed to touch it out of bounds before it can be crossed. Reading looks for the quick throw in. Arlington's challenged. But Reading maintains control in the middle. Tomasa Valagusa to his brother Francesco. And unfortunately, out of bounds before he can get there. Quick throw in by Reading. Lloyd Cleary sends it out of bounds, giving Arlington a little time to reset. Out of bounds. Francesco Valagusa goes for a big throw into Dylan Braveman. Dylan challenges in the middle. Redding controls it. Dylan's still challenging. Tommaso has the ball. Looks for him. Oh, unfortunate there. I think Tommaso did not see Miles Lehman, who was breaking for it. Francesco, oh, sorry, Tommaso Valagusa gets up to Dylan Braveman. Dylan decides to take a shot. Another good half by Arlington. That one was touched by Arlington defender and slowed down. Right, Cleary challenges, as does Clint Garahan. Clint wins that battle. Lloyd Cleary touches it forward. Dylan Braveman fights for it. Lloyd Cleary, great poke tackle. Uh, unfortunately, Peter Mitri called when tackling there. Free kick for Redding. Kevin Krupa, long ball. And Tommaso Valagusa well, able to clear it. Miles Lehman has the ball. Sees Francesco. Francesco looks to make a move. We'll go left here. Clint Garahan coming up behind him. Nice ball into Dylan Braven. Tries to dummy it to himself. Mustafa Ayad with the ball out to Francesco. Francesco gets there. Keeps the ball in, but Redding now has it. Tries to play it forward. Adrian Black uses some good leaping ability there. Gets to the ball. Uh, 
And Lloyd Cleary wins that battle. Burns a throw in for Arlington. They look to move the ball forward. And that ball. Well controlled by Nate Plano. Looks for the give and go here. Keeper Ben Wasco. Able to control that. Interesting play there. Reading with a quick throw in, out of bounds. Arlington now to throw. This one could go either way. Neither team taking strong control. Tomasa Valagusa with the ball. Looks to make a move. He can't shoot with either foot. That time lost it. Redding has kicked it out. Clint Garahan throws it into Tommaso. Tommaso continues to try and control it. And that one also off of a Redding player. Throw in from Francesco. Big looping ball, flicked on well. And an amazing goal there by Mustafa Ayad. Mustafa scores two to one. That was a half bicycle kick. The ball was touched either by Dylan Braveman or by uh, Tommaso Valagusa after a big throw in from Francesco Valagusa. Score is now two to one. Score is now two to one. Goal by Moose, Mustafa. Arlington would do well to keep the pressure up. No lead to secure in this game. As we saw in the first half, when Arlington scored first, that seemed to wake up Redding and they came in even stronger and harder. They were able to tie with about six and a half minutes left in the first half. Arlington now, approximately 12 minutes into the second half, takes a two to one lead. Big throw in, Max McCursey on it. Looking for Francesco, uh, Tommaso Valagusa, Miles Lehman. Unfortunately, gets an unlucky bounce there, hits him in the hand. He's called for a handball. <laughs> Kevin Krupa will look for the long ball. And tracking it well. Tommaso Valagusa sends it into the stands. That was Mustafa Ayad's first goal of the season. He has a number of assists. I'm sure he'll be pleased to have gotten his first goal. Redding chips it forward. Ben Wasco shows that up in the air, he's ready for a ball and brings it down, keeps it in control. Strong kick out. Touched by Redding. And Arlington will have a throw in here. Dylan Braveman takes a seat. Andreas Cuiar coming in. He'll be playing left wing. It looks like Francesco Valagusa will move to the striker position. And he has an opportunity here. Good ball forward. And Redding controls it well enough to kick it out of bounds. <laughs> it's 
Masa Velagusa on the ground. Ball taken by Redding. They have some numbers going the other way. Peter Mitri will do well to contain this. And he does. No matter the situation, Peter Mitri seems to have a look of calm always on his face. Concentration does not seem to be flustered by the pressure. Redding with the ball, looking for a cross. Clint Garahan tries to stay with. Strong cross there. Ben Wasco was ready for it. Clint Garahan, good defense, gave him very little angle. Descended anywhere but to the keeper. Another strong punt. Ben Wasco certainly loves punting with a wind at his back. Miles Lehman looks to control in the middle. Lloyd Cleary has this one. Gets it up to Andreas Cuiar. Andreas on the ground, back to Lloyd Cleary. Lloyd back to Andreas. Andreas chips it over to Miles Lehman. Likely this will go out of bounds. It does. Looking for a cutter, he finds Tommaso Valagusa. Tommaso switches sides. Gets it out to Lloyd Cleary. Lloyd with the ball. Up to Andreas. Andreas looking for Dylan Braveman, not able to connect. And Redding sends it long and out. Ball bouncing around. And the ball's bouncing in the air, definitely. Does not seem to favor Arlington. Max McCursey looks for a big clear and not able to get it. Mustafa Ayad pressures. Redding controls, passes it to their back line. And Clint Garahan says, enough of that. We're going to send this one long. Redding keeper has it, touches it into the box. Kevin Krupa for Redding, looks for the long ball. Arlington looks to settle in the middle. At this point, it looks like they are aware of the situation and Redding is trying to get the ball forward. That leaves some opportunities here for Arlington. Oh. Good efforts. And a goal kick called there for Redding. Peter Mitri gets ahead on the ball. Clint Garahan tries to get it out to Andreas Cuiar, unfortunately out of bounds. Redding, throwing backwards. Arlington would do well to cover those. Lloyd Cleary, nice tackle. Andreas Cuiar has the ball knocked down from over his feet and out of bounds by Redding. Big thrown by Clint Garahan, looking to get it forward to Francesco. Clint challenges there. Arlington unable to control. And Peter Mitri content to let it go out of bounds. Peter into Miles Lehman. Miles turns. Gets the ball up to Lloyd Cleary. Great touch by Lloyd. And Miles Lehman was looking for a cutting Francesco, not able to hit him. Ball out. By Redding. Francesco tries to challenge. Arlington looking to contain here. Again, Redding has brought more pressure forward. There's space in the back. If Arlington's able to control the ball, for them to make some passes, maybe get a through ball. And call there on Tommaso Valagusa. Free kick for Redding. Redding 
plays a short ball on the ground. Clint Garahan sends it the other way. It'll go all the way back to Redding's keeper. Redding seems to have switched almost to a sweeper-stopper defense. Miles Lehman challenges. Mustafa Aya to challenge. Peter Mitri fights, gets the ball out of bounds. Good work by Peter Mitri. Gets the throw in as it was last touched by a Reading player. Approximately 20 minutes left in the game. Tiago Gomes comes in at midfield for Mustafa Ayad. Nice attempt there by Francesco Valagusa. Andreas Cuiar, good tackle. This ball picked up by Tiago Gomes with a full head of steam. Looks to keep taking it forward. Still on the ball. Can he get to it before it goes out? No, not able to. Good effort, though. Tiago Gomes came in with some good energy. Something Arlington would do well to feed off of. Reading back to playing what looks like a more traditional flat four. Sorry, Reading back to playing a more traditional flat four. But number 11, senior co-captain Kevin Krupa is roaming the field, looking for an opportunity to even the score. Nice clear there by Peter Mitri. Francesco Valagusa will try to challenge, but it looks like the Redding keeper will have it. Lloyd Cleary touches it up to Francesco Valagusa. Francesco out to his brother Tommaso. Tommaso has it. Oh, goes for a shot. Kevin Krupa saw it coming and was able to put a foot on it. Unfortunately, I will have to take a break. I am Mark Santello. Your camera person is Danuta Ayad. We are going to, who today is being assisted by her husband, Ahmed Ayad. The play-by-play -play announcing will be turned over to Bruce Clifford, father of player Will Clifford. Will still looking for his first minutes in this game. Um, nice touch there by Arlington. I have to leave, but I'm hoping that Arlington's able to hang on to the lead here at Pierce Field against the Reading Rockets. Just under 17 minutes to go. Arlington holding on to a two to one lead. Free kick for Redding, the Rockets. Kick is up. Nice header by Ta Tommaso Valagusa. Controlled by Miles, lost to Redding. Redding's got it in the midfield. Working for a long ball. Tiago defending, and looks like it's going to be a goal kick. <laughs> All 
Arlington's next game will be against Woburn, the Tanners of Woburn, Friday night under the lights, Woburn High School. Tommy Valagusa will be taking the goal kick for Arlington. Spy Ponder is sitting at three and one. Only blemish on their record is a loss to Belmont last week, a heartbreaking one goal game contest scored in the last 10 minutes of the game. Reading's got control of the midfield on the uh, left sideline. Moving it nicely. Feet over to the right side. Peter Mitri kicks a nice ball to uh, clear it and looks like it's going to be off Arlington for a throw in right in front of the Reading bench. Andrea Sellier apl applying the defense. Francesco pr putting the pressure on Reading's defense. The captain number 11 working it nicely up the middle for Reading. Francesco back to Tommy Valagusa's brother. Uh, up to Tiago who's moving it nicely in the middle. Uh, Francesco Valagusa trying to work in the middle. Uh, Arlington's got some nice touches. Not a lot of pressure and looks like the keeper's gonna pick it up for Reading. A little bit sloppy there by Arlington, really couldn't generate much communication and uh, effective passing. Tommy's got a midfield, he's working it nicely. He's got it over to Will Clifford. Will Clifford's got the ball, and now he's going to lose it. Looks like there's a running player down on the field. Andrea Cellular looking to help the, uh, be a good support and help the running teammate. So he's a little tight calf muscle. In at right mid is Will Clifford, sophomore. Wearing the bright blue boots. And looks like incoming at forward is Dylan Braveman. And uh, Mustafa Ayed's coming back in uh, in midfield for Tommy Valagusa. Looks like it'll be a free kick for Redding. Moving it in the midfield, and uh, they force it out of, out of bounds. Andreas Cellular will be throwing it in right about midfield. Actually, looks like it's Clint Garahan beginning it in play. Arlen's got to push up their entire field. It looks like they're a little bit too spread out here. Uh, a nice pass by Mustafa to Dylan Braveman. They're working it nicely in the middle to Andres Cellular. Back to Mustafa on the right hash. Trying to look for some daylight. Redding's playing some effective pressure and defensive front. Louder. Redding throw in midfield. Looks like it's out of bounds off of Arlington. Another throw in for Redding. We're just uh, about 13 minutes to play here in the second half at Pierce Field at Arlington High School. Nice effective steal by Clint Garahan. But it looks like he's gonna be called for a penalty, so the ball will be coming back to the Arlington side of the field. We have a capacity crowd today of 76 people. Split of Arlington and Reading fans. So it's gonna be a free kick for Arlington. Tommy Valagus will be taking it. Arlington forwards are pushing up. Uh, looks like Will Clifford's gonna have it. Uh, unable to control it. Looks like it's going back to, to, uh, to Reading. Reading's got control. And Dylan applies some pressure. Nice pressure by Dylan, trying to force an error. Arlington pressing, pressing on it. Reading and moving smartly up the middle. Uh, nice through ball to 22. Clint Garahan defending, trying to shield. And looks like it'll be a goal kick. Arlington's got to do a little, little better effective job at the midfield, controlling the ball and finding the open man. 
and continuing to make runs to the open space. Today, Arlington is missing one of their star forwards and captains, Phineas uh, Santello, who apparently is homesick with the measles. No, maybe not the measles, but uh, he's under the weather today, so he's trying to get ready for the Woburn game. Uh, nice free kick by Ta Tommaso Valaguza, and uh, Dylan Braben has smartly gained control. Uh, Peter Mitri is moving it up smartly in the forward position. And looks like it'll be a throw-in for Arlington. Peter Mitri's been able to apply some nice pressure from the defensive zone. And uh, looks like there'll be a change. Miles Lehman is in for Will Clifford on the right side at right mid. Nice throw-in by Miles. And looks like it's going to be a goal kick for Redding. Just about 10 to play. Free kick by Redding on the goal kick. Ball's coming to midfield. Controlled by Redding. Andrea Silly they're applying some pressure. Nice pass over to five from Redding. Uh, defended by Lloyd. Cleary. Ball's out and it'll be a Redding throw. Nice throw in. Header by 22, and looks like it'll be Arlington's ball. Midfield. Clint Gerham with a throw. Throw ball, throw ball to Dylan Braveman, headed by Redding. They really don't have a lot of pressure up front, and uh, looks like it'll be an Arlington throw on the left side coming in. Hopefully they can get a nice throw in here in the box and try and create a scoring chance with Tommy Velagusa, uh, uh, an absolute rocket of a shot. It's easy to put it in from anywhere in that box area. So, um, uh, controlled in the box by uh, Arlington Ball. Uh, pressure applied by, by Redding with the ball at midfield. Tommy. Belagusa defending. Uh, Miles Lehman's got the ball. Back to Tommy, trying to control it. And looks like it's back in Redding's hands. Uh, number four's got it. Knocked out by Mustafa. Oh, nice save by Miles, or by uh, Tommy Belagusa. Miles Lehman coming up the right side with some speed, looking to cut it into the middle. And uh, looks like it'll be off Redding and out of bounds. So it'll be Arlington throw. In the right corner of the offensive zone. I'd like to see a little, few more players up in the box for Arlington to try and create some scoring chances. Uh, it'll be an Arlington throw off of Redding. Back in after Lehman had thrown it in. My, uh, Mustafa had throw in to Dylan Braveman. Cutting in the middle. Dylan Braveman nicely cut in the middle. And looks like Redding's controlling it. And looks like it'll be a corner kick for Arlington. So let's see if they can generate a little scoring chance here. The final seven minutes of the game. Looks like it'll be Lloyd Cleary taking the corner. Redding's got the majority of their players back to defend this goal kick, or this uh, corner kick. Like a goal right here would be uh, devastating to Redding's uh, mounting any type of comeback. Uh, Lloyd Cleary in the corner with Mustafa Ayad. Trying to create a fixed play. And it looks like they're trying to create a little bit of a, a waste of time, uh, uh, reduce time. Looks like there's a uh, penalty kick called on Dylan, or on a Redding. Uh, looks like Dylan Braveman took a, some type of knock and went down in a heap and uh, Referees called a penalty kick for Arlington. So Tommy Velagusa is lining it up. One of Arlington's captains, three captains, Mustafa Ayed, Tommy Velagusa, and Finney Santello, who's homesick today. Here we go. Free kick on the PK, and it's a goal. Arlington, three to one. Well done by Tommy Velagusa. Keeper went the wrong way, and guessing 
guessed wrong. And uh, that's got to be a backbreaker here with six minutes left. So uh, that's, a, that's a key goal for Arlington to get a little lucky break there. So it'll be Redding's ball, midfield. With just about, just under six minutes left to go in the game. Redding with the ball, trying to move it smartly through the middle. And broken up by Miles Lehman with heavy pressure. Nice, Arlington's been physical today. They have uh, spells where they've been physical on the ball, and uh, looks like it's going to be out of bounds in the corner by uh, Lehman for Arlington. Redding throw, throw in to Redding, who's controlling it just uh, on the defensive side of the midfield. They start moving up smartly. They switch fields to number 22, one of their goal scorers up front, uh, off of Lloyd Cleary. Right now, Arlington's just looked to possess and control the ball. Uh, Redding's got it back in the middle, um, overrun by Peter Mitri. Um, Tiago Gomez has got it over to Miles Lehman. And it is uh, tackled by Redding, out number 10. So nice defensive play there by Redding. It'll be Arlington throw just in midfield. Peter Mitri will take the ball. Look for a Arlington spy ponder to throw. He goes to Dylan Braveman. Looks like it's off of Dylan. Back to Redding. And. It looks like there'll be a foul on Arlington, so it'll be a Reading free kick. Number 11 will be taking the free kick for Reading. Free kicks going toward the Arlington goal. Arlington clears it for the moment. Max. Had the nice clear over Miles. Redding's got the ball back, going in for more here. Uh, shot by Redding and just wide. High and wide in the Arlington goal. Nice defensive play by Max McCursey on that free kick to send it out of the box and away from harm's way. Time is not on the Redding side right now. They're going to try and get back in this game. They really got to put a goal in here and then continue to press to even tie the match. Free kick by Tommy Valagusa on the uh, goal kick. Lands at midfield and to his brother Francesco. Back to Redding. Redding moving it nicely, smartly in the middle. Number four moving it in, spreads it over to number 17. And he moves it into the middle. Pressure applied by Lloyd Cleary. Tommy Valagusa trying to also assist. Shot on net and saved by Ben Wasco, who's done a nice job in net double zero. Just done three minutes to play. A little bit of an offensive chance there by Redding, but not really a heavily scoring threat. Uh, Den Wasco's boot, nice big boot. Ben's got a great leg. That's a big plus for the uh, Spy Ponders this year. Um, Redding's ball midfield with pressure applied by Francesco Valagusa. Um, looks like it'll be a free kick here at midfield for Arlington. Just closing in on uh, two minutes and 20 seconds left in the match. Redding sees it's got an uphill battle here and not showing a lot of life. Uh, Tommy Valagusa will be taking the free kick. Up front, we got Dylan Braveman, Miles Lehman, and Francesco Valagusa. Ball's going to Miles Lehman. Bounces on the turf. He heads it up to Dylan Braveman. Dylan smartly volleys it over the Reading player's head, looking for support for the Arlington uh, Dylan Braveman. Miles Lehman's got the ball on the side. Tiago Gomez has got the ball. He's trying to make it smartly in the middle. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's trying to kind of kill time in the corner. And looks like it'll be out for a goal kick. Goal kick for Redding. We're just into stoppage time, so two minutes left, and uh, Redding better get moving if they're going to get a goal and at least start to sniff to get back in this game. Uphill battle, to say the least. Ball in the middle. Looks like it'll be a free kick. Tommy Valagusa was over the back on the Redding player.
Looks like there'll be a yellow card with uh, touching the ball uh, from the referee. Tommy Valagus will be off. Coming on is Andres Cellular for the final two minutes. You know, when the uh, when there is a when there is a foul, he, the opposing team really can't touch the ball, and that's what happened on that play. So Arlington needs to show a little bit more patience and uh, composure in that uh, in that situation. <clears throat> so we get a free kick here, going toward the Arlington net, going uh, right to left. Number twenty taking the free quick kick. It's up, it's a little bit short. Max, Max McCursey smartly gets it out. Andres Celia, they're trying to get it out too. Redding continue to apply pressure outside the box. And Arlington kicks it out, trying to burn clock here. So uh, ball's in the middle. It's just about running down, maybe a minute left here. Uh, Francesco Valagus has got the ball in the middle. Uh, tackled by Redding, who wins the ball. And Arlington controlling it back in the middle, heading toward the Reading goal. Should try and look to get it to a corner and start killing time. So And almost a little scoring chance there in the middle between Francesco Valagusa and Miles Lehman. He had Arlington throw in the corner. Peter Mitri's got the ball, looking for Tiago Gomez. Gomez, Peter Mitri's got the ball. He's looking to deal and dish inside the box. Redding defends it well, and it'll be uh, cleared by Redding. Uh, defended nicely by Adrian Black. Thrown by Redding. Arlington in control. Uh, just cleared by Peter Mitri. Arlington uh, looking to just close things out here. Redding's got the ball in the defensive zone, just looking to try and get something close to the Arlington goal. Defended nicely by Tiago Gomes. Knocked out. Redding ball. Throw in by Redding. Clock continues to wind. Redding trying to get something going, but number 10 moving smartly in the middle with some nice uh, nifty moves. Uh, and cleared by Arlington. So it's tough to get through the defense by yourself. Um, Goalkeeper for Redding. Clears the ball. Peter Mitri is watching it go out of bounds. Be Arlington throw. Just here as time's winding down. Miles Rot, Miles Lehman's got the ball. He clears it. And looks like ooh, it'll be Arlington's or uh, Redding's ball. The keeper grabs it smartly, dishes it off over to the defender from Redding. He moves it up smartly. Time continues to wind down. Defended by Tiago Gomes nicely. Uh, Applying pressure is, ta is uh, Francesco Valagusa, my Italiano. Uh, and Redding here just can't get anything going. They're just not able to get it past the pressure of Arlington. Header in the middle. Max McCursey smartly knocks it out. Uh, no, not quite. Um, nice clear by Adrian Black. That's a big boot. That's a nice boot. And uh, the Redding keeper comes way out to defend. And... Um, keep the ball in play. Smartly, actually, nice play by the running keeper. Peter Mitri clears the ball nicely. He's had a great game today. Uh, Redding with the ball in the middle, trying to continue to find a way to get a goal. Francesco Valaguz has got the ball. Now he's moving smartly. He's heading toward the, toward the goal. Heading to the corner to try and burn the rest of this clock out. Ball's been kicked out of bounds, and it looks like an Arlington throw. Francisco Valagusa will have the ball on the side. Gives it off to Clint Garahan. Over to Francesco, who gets pushed in the back. Looks like it'll be an Arlington free kick. Tommy Valagusa, or uh, Francesco Valagusa, was pushed in the back, so foul on Redding. And looks like uh, Andreas Cellular will have the free kick just outside the Redding box, with time nearly to expire here. Ball's put in play into the box, and ooh, a stop by Renning in the middle, and the keeper grabs it to, to keep a goal from going in. Arlington defending, keeper's kick. Max McCursey's got the ball. Uh, cool and calm under pressure, clears it. Out of bounds of midfield to be Renning ball. And that is it, that's the match. 
here at Pierce Field. Arlington three, Reading Rockets one. Arlington's record now stands at four and one. Great game today with goals by um, Mustafa Ayed. We had a nice goal by Tommy, a PK by Tommy Velagusa. And the first goal was scored by Andreas Cellular. So uh, some nice goal score keeping or scoring by the Arlington seniors. And um, tough loss for the Rockets of, uh, of Reading. So Coach has to be a little bit happy to come away with a win. Um, I think there were some bright spots, but I think Arlington's got a little bit more zip in the game, and missing uh, Phineas Santello definitely was a factor in today's match. Um, they were losing a little zip in their game, and that's what that Phineas Santello brings to them, brings to the pitch every time he's out there. So, so signing off today, it's Mark Santello here at Pierce Turf. The pitch at Arlington High School. Arlington three, Rockets one, boys varsity, four and one. On to Woburn Friday night. Thank you and good night.